Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. So, last time we learned how to use our sword, so now what we're going to do is wander around and fight some of these pirates that are just wandering the world map, and learn some new insults, and if we practice enough, we'll eventually be good enough to beat the Swordmaster. And this is going to be very entertaining, learning all these different insults. Oh man, they're just disappearing. Here we go. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. This is the stinky pirate. <laughs> nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hope you had something more important to stop me for. <laughs> Why do you guys talk so funny? <laughs> pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. Come on, Guybrush, play along. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh yeah, sword fight time. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, these are all great options. Um Oh well, uh <laughs> You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh yeah. I'm getting the upper hand. Boy, are you ugly! What's the matter? Just get out of sword fighting class. <laughs> oh man, apparently that wasn't good enough an insult. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's the best comeback. Just oh yeah. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Um how is that an insult? Oh, I can't say so's your mother. How appropriate. You <laughs> fight like a cow. I give up. You win. <laughs> Alright, so those new insults that he gave up, uh, Move called me. Or I cut my way through. Those, so those new insults that he told me that I hadn't heard before, I now have those in my repertoire and I can use them against other people. Likewise, if I use insults against the guys and they have a cl clever comeback for them, I learn them. And basically, if you can insult people enough in a row without them being able to um, retaliate, then you will win the fight. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I have a bunch of insults to tell you. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Ooh, double pun. That was a good one. You have the manners of a beggar. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> and because I'm failing these insults, he's I getting the upper hand. You're a contemptible sneak. Yeah, so every time either you insult someone and then they retaliate, or they so insult you and you can't retaliate, they get the upper hand. Likewise, if you can insult someone and they can't retaliate, or you c come up with a clever retaliation for them, you get the upper hand. If you get the upper hand enough, you win. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> Where did my sword go? I'm not sure how... <laughs> What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? I'm not sure how effective this would be in real life. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. <laughs> uh, it's probably just that we're tired. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Alright, dude, let's see what you're made of. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I am rubber. You are glue. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Not really. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, this guy's terrible. You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Wow, you know nothing. I give up. You win. Oh man, you were terrible. I didn't learn any new retaliation. Hey, get back here. Get back here. No, I don't want to go to the fork in the road. Aye, oh, this better be important. <laughs> oh, it My is. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Ho <laughs> ho Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? How come I can't say so is your mother? Aw oh, man, are you serious? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? <laughs> I give up! You win! God, for sure not very good at this. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous. Didn't I already beat you? Come on now. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So basically, I'm trying to use all the insults that I don't have the comebacks to, so I can learn all the comebacks. So? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast. <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. Yes! Yes! How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, you're not good at this, are you? You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Oh, come on. That's not even that clever of a comeback. Have you stopped wearing diapers? Hey, you just used the same insult I used against you. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. <laughs> Not a... Wait, why do you did not have the upper hand there? Not that much of an upper hand. Oh, come on, are you serious? Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. This is the dirty rotten pirate. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? Oh ho ho. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. So's your mother. So's your mother. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. <laughs> you have the manners of a beggar. Now I can use that one. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. <laughs> He's just that's all Guybrush says now. It's like oh that one that time it happened to work out even though it should have worked for the other ones as well. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Oh, snap, guy rush. That was pretty good. I give up. You win. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Oh, snap. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? <laughs> These are clever. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, it's a new one. You run that fast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you deserve to lose for that one, go? guy rush. <laughs> People fall at my feet when they see me coming. You run that fast? <laughs> this is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Wow! You're good enough to fight the sword, master. Oh, no, not quite. I still have a couple comebacks I need to learn. The bloodthirsty pirate. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare got to two die. new insults to try out on people now. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Oh, yeah? Oh, he didn't know the comeback to that one either. There are no words for how disgusting you are. 
Yes, there are. You just never learn them. But you're still calling yourself disgusting, then. This is the end for you, you got a crawling cur. People love that one. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Ho ho. I like that one of all the puns involved with it. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? There are no words behind this. <laughs> God, <laughs> he's trying that back on me. <laughs> yes, there are. You just never learned them. He's like, oh, you remembered what wow, I said. You're good enough to fight the sword, master. Nope, not yet. The stinking pirate. Alright, I can beat this guy. This guy sounds like he'd be My easy. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? That's what I was looking for. My handkerchief will warp up your breath. Ooh, a new one. <laughs> How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Okay, the dirty rotten pirate is the tough one. The stinking pirate. Oh, he's coming back! He's coming back! And now he has a hat! <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you... You got that job as janitor after all? Good accent there. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. <laughs> uncle! Uncle! He's coming back! Hey, this better be and he, he ditched his hat. He's like, nah, I look better without the hat, I think. <laughs> Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. So you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> Kybrush is not very good at this. <laughs> People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. You run that fast? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? <laughs> wow, that that was a dumb one. All right, we're finally going to the Swordmasters because I've learned all the insults and all of their comebacks. So we are now good enough to fight the Swordmaster. Excellent. Hey, lady, I'm back. I remember the way magically because we have autopilot. <laughs> How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. <laughs> She's got a great stink face. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. Oh boy. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. <laughs> so you got that job as a janitor after all. I know it was how appropriate you fight like a cow is the best <laughs> proper response, but there's a reason I, I did see that. People like you passed out on tavern floors. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Wait, but I thought that was the right one. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> My tongue is sharper than any sword. Ooh, really?
<laughs> oh, out of all of these, let's go with this First, one. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Wait, that was the right one. Okay. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Ooh. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Oh, snap, Guybrush! <laughs> I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. You run that fast? <laughs> because you can run fast enough to keep up with my boat. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? <laughs> this is a good final duel, I think. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Oh, really? Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. <laughs> As opposed to your sword. Only once have I met such a coward. He must have taught you everything you know. Oh, snap, Guybrush! I give up. You win. Yes! Well, <laughs> I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. And we got an item for uh, giving us proof. Let's see. It's a 100% cotton t-shirt. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Oh, dang. I need a t-shirt like that in real life. I, I actually bet they have a t-shirt like that in real life. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a lot of sword fighting, but there, I'm going to try to find the treasure now of Melee Island, and we have to go back to this fork. So we do have the map here, or here, here. To the monkey, back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. That's actually where you need to go in order to find the treasure. So back, left, right. All right, back. Oh, hey! My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. You remember Otis saying he got arrested for picking the yellow flowers, right? Well... Let's get some. We get the yellow flower now. Isn't that great? It's a striking yellow color. All right, now we have to go to the right. I like the woods here. They're really, they're a beautiful color. Ooh, plant and stump. Looks like a regular old stump with the same red flowers that grow all over the forest. Can I pick those up? Somewhere in here in the original, somewhere in the in here in the original version, there was like a stump where it's like, ooh, there's something underneath there, and it's like please insert floppy disk like 19 or something. And it's like there wasn't a floppy disk 19. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like we don't have it. And it, uh, apparently, Boom Lucasarts got a lot of calls about that one. All right, back, left, right, right, left, right, back. Just a regular old stump. That might have been the stump that <laughs> was the weird one. I'm not sure though. What a lovely plant. Yay! Alright, checking the map one last time. Right, left, back. Excellent. And this should take us to a hidden, uh, hidden screen. Yes, right here. This is a beautiful grove. Hey, hey, hey! The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. <laughs> Remember, there are other pirates on this island. 
So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. <laughs> oh, well, that's very nice of them. And also kind of hilarious. Here treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. All right. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> the humor in this game is just wonderful. Hmm. Looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? Guybrush, it's an X. Well... Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Let's use that shovel we have on the X. Oh, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. <laughs> of course. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> oh really? Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. <laughs> More hours pass. <laughs> so yes, now we have another 100% cotton t-shirt. No, we want to look at it. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. I need that t-shirt in my life as well. If people know where I can find a t-shirt like that, please let me know. Alright, so we found the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. We haven't actually gone over to this island before. Let's do that before we end the episode. Since a lot of that pirate fighting I can just cut out. Since a lot of it was redundant. Hook Island. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Oh my gosh! I didn't know Captain Hook had an island. All right, so we're at this cable. How can we get across? Well, we can use the rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle to actually go across. <laughs> Which is kind of fantastic. It actually has a use. Alright, let's wander over to this person's house and introduce ourselves. That's not creepy at all. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? <laughs> no, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. But... <laughs> uh, excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business, and since then, I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one what attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? I just was asking about... The... the restrooms. I'm a pirate cannonball head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook. And I think you've got a little attitude problem. <laughs> well, I think you've got a little hair problem. <laughs> Jeez, you just don't know when to quit, do you? <laughs> Obviously, neither did your barber. <laughs> Why, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Guybrush, you are such a terrible person, and so am I. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? 
What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook. And you still have a little attitude problem. <laughs> and you've still got a little hair problem. <laughs> Jeez, you just don't know when to quit, do you? I'm sorry, I was just trying to be funny. You want to see something funny? <laughs> Watch this. Uh-oh. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, pretty good, eh? I got a whole routine, but I don't have the time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. But until then, I'm a very busy man, so... <laughs> Whoops, I just realized that this is the wrong house. <laughs> Only just oh, now. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice time on Melee Island. Oh, well, Goodbye, that... Roger. Goodbye, Roger. <laughs> well, that guy was pretty nice, all things considered. That was, that was very nice. No, I don't want to go back there. I want to go <laughs> back to Melee Island, I think. And that's all the time we have for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode of The Secret of Monkey Island. Now that we've gotten uh, the Swordmaster beaten and we found the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, which happened to both be t-shirts. Um, what? No, Guybrush. I just said use it on the pole. Come on now. Uh, all we have left to do is to actually invade the governor's house and steal something inside. And now we have the means to do that, so that'll be pretty cool. Hope to see you then. Until then, have a great day, and God bless.